What's good YouTube and welcome to Anoa. Since you love the previous hotfix guide that I did about the massive changes in Warframe and Line of Sight, it is time for the hotfix 35.5.7 and of course only hotfixes that really matters I will make videos about them. So 35.5.7 deep archimedia changes that we're gonna check today, general deep archimedia changes and fixes, also we're going to check the Vomparic Luminous as well, the Line of Sight changes and uh, all the kind of fixes uh, we're gonna go through them one by one let's go and the hot fix started with the hollow vein and it should because this uh, crazy murmur uh, enemy with his laser focusing on the defense target making the elite deep archimedia solo a bit frustrating and for players they are new and so on makes it really impossible to defend the target now thanks to the e for listening to the community feedback we salute them always for that they are the best at what they do Especially listening to Tenno. Now, before, due to defense target was bigger than the Warframe, they were applying several hit tricks, uh, ticks in a row into this target, resulting in massive damage. So, in case you failed before, it's not your fault. It just was buggy, the character. You cannot aggro. Alright, in any game, when a target focusing on defense object and you do enough damage to it, you get the aggro. Warframe doesn't work that way. Now, they fix it. Now, it will only hit defense target once with its laser uh, attack, we makes it easier, change its AOE attack targeting logic to improve the frequency of when it's used, which is good. Now before, uh, once the attack started uh, and it was near uh, something like defense target, it would trigger and linger indefinitely. Means it will not stop until, boom, it kills the defense target and they're very tanky, trust me. Now, the attack uh, will only trigger when players are nearby and will can be cancelled when players are no longer within the radius. Makes it alright, not so bad, okay. Now, it also fixes a, possi a possible issue where Hell's Vein could theoretically make allies, defense target and players hit by its laser attack permanently vulnerable to friendly fire. Very deadly. Now, that's about the Hollow Vein. And now the changed amount of Citral Revenant, uh, Tina Pass and Vosphor Glyphs among you heals their prospective mirror defense targets before it was collecting the required amount of the aforementioned uh, pickup so it would restore 5000 health. But now it gets better. Collecting enough pickups will restore 3.5k health. Also 15% the defense target max health which makes really good. I hoped for more like 50% but 15% is alright. Ensuring the pickup scales better as level increase while still maintaining a level difficulty. Now of course they will not make it 50%. They try to stop players from playing solo. So makes it harder for players uh, that's going solo. More teamwork. It's okay. Now, the uh, Oracle and Vutrum defense targets now have 75% damage reduction against Rogue, Void Rig, and Bone Widow weapons and abilities. Now, in case you fail to kill that little mini um, murmur of, like uh, Necromach and he managed to spawn the Void Rig Rogue or the Bone Widow Rogue, it will kill your defense target like almost in 5 seconds. And now for the general deep archimedia changes and fixes uh, and owned items will now be indicated as such the deep archimedia loadout individual parameter uh, UI they will now be marked with the icon uh, exclamation icon and will have uh, the not owned tag uh, to the tooltip like so for example primary goods of prime they have Astilla not owned Attica not owned to be honest DE please I would prefer that you change the code of this in what way for example, if a new player or mid-seasonal player, alright, or casual player playing this game and they don't have the weapon, the game shouldn't regenerate for them this weapon. I will tell you a scenario where, for example, a player doesn't have any of those primaries, any of those secondaries, and any of those melee weapons. Or maybe any of those warframes. What they do? Can you answer me? I have no idea. I would prefer that the coding goes based on what the players have. Right? I know some tunnels would delete their orc like arsenal, but no. Just what they have that should be fine. Now, the tag will only appear if you do not own the specific item shown or any of its variants. Only. If you have it, it will not uh, pop. Uh, in an effort to for better communicate to players that have enabled Elite Deep Archimedia, we have made more we have made it more obvious in the Deep Archimedia screen by adding the Elite Archimedia logo uh, add. Uh, an Elite Archimedia active indicator above the bigger research button they uh, are locking uh, with search pulses. This one right here, as you can see in the game, right here. Right now, if I have it active, it will show right here. 
if it's not active it will go away boom 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 see what i'm talking about there you go also they added the pulse vvx to unlock and begin research okay vampiric luminous health and energy drink and now effect spawned allies specters and npc units and vehicles like necromex and merulina you know you was using your necromex happy that uh, the vampiric luminous is not affecting you now it's no more it's fixed now fix the host uh, host gear embargo personal modifier applying to the whole squad even if you do not select to play with the modifier it is what it is fixed vampiric luminous being eligible to be marked by the alchemical uh, invulnerability mission de uh, deviation they are invulnerable and cannot be affected by the uh, amphora this was caused by a bug that allowed the uh, vampiric luminous to take hits after a stun stagger statue effect also fixed the broken icon appearing uh, for the heck in the event individual parameter loadout ui fix a script error caused by uh, vampiric luminous and host migrations fix necroloid sassy remarks about you uh, closing out the deep media screen playing before you've even unlocked the week with search pulses now he'll only share his feeling once you have committed uh, and uh, then backed out of said commit commitment all right and now for the line of sight los changes we have our boy hildren age storm we've made uh, so that age storm performs uh, line of sight checks from the floor when hildren is hovering but that could be limiting based on her positioning so they changed it uh, so that the check occurs uh, from Hildrin to enemies that, that are in the uh, line of sight and within the ability range and its fourth uh, ability right here, the Aegis uh, Storm. There you go. And now, when I mentioned it last time, sometimes I'll say, oh, it's all right. And, you know, so you see, he knows what I'm talking about and it is fixed now. And Caliban received a hotfix as well. In addition uh, to render checking, we have also made improvement to address issue where line of sight checks would fail on clearly visible enemies that are behind a terrain. Now, I don't know if we can do that, uh, but let's try something here. All right, his second ability. And there you go, it is working fine now. And gather around Garuda mains the blood altar, the second ability of Garuda, right? The line of sight checks of her blood altar after remains the same, similar to Raycast, does a sweep to identify if there is obstruction along with the path of the target. Meaning this ability was having a trouble when there is a obstacle in front, they doesn't work as attended. But now they added the ability for Blood Altar to perform an additional jump to help clear small obstructions since line of sight checks could fail on targets that were clearly visible but uh, partially behind a terrain. And we're gonna test it on this terrain right here and you will see it going to uh, have a jump you see the jump there you go now there you go see without it rain it will not perform a jump and the, actually you are improving a lot in your hotfixes and developing of uh, the game so if i have it rain in front of me it will perform a jump very good and my boy hydroid as well plunder got a render check in addition to render checking it's also no longer fov dependent to prevent issues where the fov settings uh, would Cause the Hydroid's body to obstruct the line of sight. I'm gonna test it just the same way. There you go. And boom. Works perfectly. Right? All of them affected with the marking in their head. And Ember Inferno got render check. In addition to render checking, it's also no longer FOV dependent, which was causing issues where enemies outside of FOV, low FOV settings, so were not considered in the checks. To me, works, works perfectly fine. Right? Nice. All right. And our mag got fixed on her pull ability, pulling enemies from all direction instead of in cone directly in front of her as intended. Now, this was accidentally introduced in 35.5.6. Now they fixed it as it's intended to work with an improvement of line of sight logic. To be honest, I think it's still not working as intended though, because, uh, yeah. To me, I think it's uh, a bit not the way you guys wanted to fix it but it is what it is and in the previous video i talked about it and no one said no oh, it's fine it's good and, come on bro dante dark verse got fixed uh, fixed the following warframe abilities not ignoring uh, terrain for enemies that are up to five meters from the ability starting point dante dark verse garuda seeking talons and mag magnetized explosion specially hold caster now let's test it out uh, right there you go working good now huh working good Take this out. Perfection. There you go. To be honest, the E, maybe you should make it like at least like 90 degrees. Be nice. 
could be would be awesome. I mean, I don't think you guys going back to reverting uh, Dante at his release point. He's still a very powerful Warframe right now. But if you increase the Dark Verse to 90% maybe or 108% or affected by ability range. Now back to the changes. Uh, audio mix adjustment, uh, it's okay. Optimize the fixed client, uh, whatever. Fixed uh, in our sandstorm, not picking up enemies directly below him. That's really, uh, really good. Uh, fixed needs uh, Nyx uh, pacifying bolts augment uh, mod, not throwing an additional three force uh, psychic uh, bolt uh, as intended. Fixed uh, fully ranked requiem mods, not ranking down after a successful parazon stabbing a Kuva Lich. It was uh, a very uh, happy moment for you guys. Fix in our sandstorm VVX, fix the Ostron in cities during a voice link to break veil. Objective of the new war quest having a stealth attack uh, prompt. This is a one time quest, it's okay, but it's good to be fixed. Fixed players getting knocked down every 5 seconds after leaving the arson in a town relay when the negate mode is equipped on their worm. Fix the Nexus for a pattern, fix the arsenal UI for Necromag not showing their melee attack stats. Fix Onos uh, magazine always using its default colors regardless of the color picked by the player. Fix Onos uh, evolution upgrade screen. Fix Wukong celestial twin indicating it, uh, it needs more ammo while using an Atarik. Silly monkey, indeed. Fix the uh, issue with Valkyr uh, Prime not holding an Atarik arrow in her hand while her noble animation set is equipped. Fix the scaling issues with your early uh, Batamorpha. Helmet, uh, fix enemies, uh, notably uh, the uh, anatomizer and necromite drones uh, in Albert's uh, laboratories uh, being uh, uh, susceptible to, to, to getting stuck on the terrain. Uh, fixed uh, the deadlock protocol quest requirements uh, in the codex missing mis uh, mentioned of completion of uh, the certain junction. Whoever writing this, I want to salute you. Fixed the being enabled to close out the mission overview screen using the same blinding uh, binding you opened it with the index and conclave emissions uh, fixed shield uh, charge uh, russian description not displaying regen correctly fixed uh, more uh, cases of error caused by uh, joining a profit taker bounty while the voxel artist quest especially replay is active to prevent further issues the context uh, uh, action to speak begin profit taker bounty is now disabled uh, while the voxel artist quest is active fix couple of rare crashes fix script error script error script error script error script error and yeah all right by this uh, we come to the end of the fixes and changes uh, they are huge changes to be honest and a lot of improvement in line of sight i want to say guys thank you so much for watching and i really hope this video helps you out like learning about the hotfix and everything about it thank you so much for watching big love to you don't forget to sub like if you want to support the channel or from your kind heart join our discord link in the description peace and love and see you next time